Hello my dear students. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to talk to you about something that you face every day without even realizing it. The two types of mixtures, homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures. Let's start with matter and its types. Everything that has mass and occupies space is known as matter. So the whole universe is made up of matter. Even we are all matter. Some matters are pure. Because they contain the same type of particles. Like pure water contains the same type of particles. That are H2O. So the pure matter is known as substance. On the other hand, the impure matter is known as mixture that contains different types of particles. For example, if we mix some salt in water, a mixture is formed. Because it contains sodium and chloride particles, other than water molecules. So, when different substances are mixed up physically, they form a mixture. Now, we are going to discuss different types of mixtures. There are two types of mixtures. Homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture. We take an example of salt water. When you dissolve salt in water, it creates a homogeneous mixture. Because the salt particles are evenly spread out. You can't see the salt anymore, but it's still there. So, the homogeneous mixtures are those mixtures where the substances are uniformly distributed. And you can't see the different components with the naked eye. On the other hand, oil and water are two liquids that do not mix well. They form a heterogeneous mixture because they have different densities and polarities. You can see two distinct layers of oil and water. So heterogeneous mixtures are those mixtures that have non-uniform composition throughout its mass. And you can see different components with the naked eye. Now we have some examples to understand what are homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures. Air is a mixture of gases, mainly nitrogen and oxygen, with small amounts of other gases. Air is a homogeneous mixture, because, the gases are evenly distributed. And, you cannot see the individual gases in air. Steel is a mixture of iron and carbon, with small amounts of other metals. It is a homogeneous mixture, because the metals are melted together, and form a solid alloy, that has the same composition throughout. Alcohol, in its most common form, is a homogeneous mixture. Because, it's made up of two main components, ethanol and water. These two substances blend together, so perfectly, that you can't see them. Juice is considered, homogeneous mixture. Because, when you take a sip of juice, you don't taste individual parts separately. Not all the components of juice combine to give you delicious, and refreshing flavor. Soup is heterogeneous mixture, because, when you take a spoonful of soup, you can see the different components in it. Like a chunk of carrot, a piece of chicken and maybe some noodles too. These ingredients, are not uniformly spread throughout the soup. Pizza is a perfect example of a heterogeneous mixture. It's made up of different visible components, that come together, to create a mouth-watering experience. Salad is also a heterogeneous mixture, because, we have different ingredients, like lettuce, tomatoes, cucumbers, and, maybe even some croutons or cheese. So these are all examples of heterogeneous mixture. Let me, summarize the whole concept. A homogeneous mixture is, when all the substances, are evenly distributed throughout the mixture. On the other hand, a heterogeneous mixture is when, the substances are not evenly distributed. We can see the particles of homogeneous mixture, but can't see the particles of heterogeneous mixture. In a homogeneous mixture, there is only one phase, meaning it looks uniform throughout. However, in a heterogeneous mixture, you can see different phases or regions within it. Homogeneous mixtures can be separated through physical means. Heterogeneous mixtures are required. More complex separation techniques due to their uneven distribution. I hope this video helped you. If you find it interesting don't forget to like it. And subscribe for more educational content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.